Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you how to create a .deb file on your themes like this one here. So first what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have the the uh, folder of your theme on your desktop. I already have it in here. So second thing you're going to want to do is create a folder of what you want, just any name. I'm gonna do my stop. Stop. And then you're gonna want to put inside that folder Debian, D E B I A N, exactly like this, all capitals, and another one, library. Inside library, you're gonna want to put another folder, themes. And then inside themes, you're going to drag the folder that has your theme in it and rename it. Rename that to have a dot theme on the end, exactly like that. Okay, so now that we have that, go back to Debian. And inside here, we have control is a file, not a text file. So you can open up Notepad and you're going to, I'll have this in the description too in case you can't see it, but the package is basically uh, who it's by, uh, your repo. So this is my repo here, you're gonna, if you have yours at my repo space, you're gonna have it com dot my repo space dot and then your username and then the name is the name of your um, theme that you want it to appear on as Insidia version. If you're going to be uh, updating it, you don't want to put 1.1 or whatever um, architecture iPhone OS ARM. Put that. That means that it runs on the uh, iPhone, iPod, whatever um, description. This is just a description of what this will appear in City of Two. Homepage, if you have a website, you're going to want to put that there. Maintainer, that's whatever you want to put there that will show up in City of. Uh, put the same thing for author, same thing for section. Conflicts, leave that blank. Depends, that means that it will run on Winterboard. And this is really important, you're going to want to hit enter so that it's there and since this will most likely save as a text file you're gonna wanna put all files and it'll be a file alright since I already have it I'm not gonna save it and alright so one of the requirements here is that you need a uh, uh, you need WinSCP so you're going to want to load that up and connect. I'm already connected, so I'm going to be here and then. Alright, so this is the hard part. You should um, really listen here. You, Since you have your completed folder here, you're going to want to drag. Oh, sorry. Find it in here. Mine is in dex desktop, so I'll find it here copy and then just wait for that to copy and now you're going to right click the uh, folder properties and I already have it here but it will most li likely not be this you don't want to change octal to 0755 that's very important and then open up and you want to right click Debian properties same thing here change octal to 0755 and cancel 
All right, so now you're going to want to click the home and go to terminal. It's going to log you in again. Then you're going to have to enter a command, and it will be dpkg space dash b space parentheses and then the exact folder name capitals everything it's going to be exactly like that mine is stop sopa in capitals so parentheses enter and then it'll come up as a deb right here dot deb file and then there you go, it's a DB file, and then I'll show you how to put it on my repo space. You can drag, copy that to your desktop. I already have it, so I'm not going to overwrite it. So go to my repo space and my repo space is very slow so just take a bit to load up but yeah that's it's pretty simple to do you just have to follow all of the guidelines okay my packages all right so now right here I already have it loaded on so I'll show you what it looks like in a second select a dev to add to Cydia and then you're gonna find it lines in the desktop so let me find it here you'll click right here open and then it'll be uploading and it should be like same as that. So 